हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन टू चेस क्लासिक्स यू मस्ट नो एपिसोड 25 दिस इज योर होस्ट सागर शाह एंड हाउ आर यू डूइंग गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल वी आर गोइंग टू हैव एन अमेजिंग गेम टुडे एंड अ बिग थैंक यू टू आवर फर्स्ट मेंबर सिद्धांत भारती हु ऑलरेडी बिकेम अ मेंबर बिफोर द स्ट्रीम बिगन I hope all of you are doing well. Today I decided to keep this a little late in the night so that all of you who are unable to wake up in the morning can join in. Is the twenty fifth episode, and I hope that you all will have an amazing time. There'll be ten positions today. All of you have to solve it. If you are a very serious student of the game, you can get a chess board by your side. Go through the moves and then pause every time I'm asking a question. and then write down your move you can also write down in the chat it will be uh, very good to write it down because that means that you are certain of your move but any guesses on who our champion of the day is going to be whose game are we going to see hello hello welcome all today's uh, game is in the memory of a great great champion stockfish says or sagar bhai tumhe kem cho sab saru che duda gari ke baad to gc mein next apna hikaru che oh yes i will ask him <laughs> if it's possible oh one second did anyone guess it did anyone guess it there's a small hint in the uh, in the description and kiron kabir is right kiron kabir you are absolutely right murugananda kanagaraja also is 100% right it is a great great champion of the game uh sultan khan yes sultan khan's game is what we are going to see today it's a brilliant game that we are going to witness and uh, i request everyone to not check the game at all anywhere just be here who rohit parekh has sent a huge super chat 4499 rupees says for women chess players wow thank you rohit parekh that's very kind of you so we're going to see this game and i want to tell you a bit about sultan khan before we begin so sultan khan was born in 1903 okay and he was born in undivided india or you can say british india uh and he was somehow you know he learned the indian rules of chess and indian rules of chess were slightly different than the international rules of chess in 1928 he became the national champion of india uh and then in 1929 there was this person named sir umar hayat who took him to london seeing his talent and he said okay let's go to london and you can say that he was like the slave of this person or you can say the person kind of employed him umar hayat and he went to london with him and over there he started playing chess and umar hayat supported him and uh, you know he he was he quickly learned the international rule of international rules of chess one of the biggest difference is that you know the pawns used to move one square at a time and in international chess you have the on the first move the ability to move it two squares and so all these differences uh, sultan khan learned it very quickly and then he became the champion uh, british champion in the year 1929 already and then uh, 1932 he became british champion three times and also he beat capa blanca in 1930 so he was like a genius you can you imagine like here is a guy who just knows a little bit of chess okay uh, on his own he learned it and he's just beating the top players in the world i think he also beat tartakova and he was just right there at the top so and then of course when he uh, came back to india he played a game match against khadilkar and he beat him 9 and 1/2 half, half 
but after that i mean eventually the place where he lived was in pakistan because then after partition it was in pakistan and uh, he is uh, a gem i mean i would say he never became a grand master but i think fide should definitely grant him the gm title he thoroughly deserves it we can also say in one way he is one of the best players in indian chess even before vishy anand you know before uh, uh, that era so really uh, a f- fascinating personality and uh, today we are going to see his games in his memory we are having the second sultan cup we had the first Sel- sultan khan cup last year uh, it was organized by ips academy this year as well they are organizing it and the link is in the description so if you want to play that online tournament please do so but for now let's begin with the game and let's get going shall we let me know in the chat if you are all ready and excited are you sandeep goel says please start don't waste time <laughs> okay okay yeah his village name was sargodna correct uh, arshad 84 says sagar just like you do in grandmaster chess can you put two minutes timer for every point in this series also it will be helpful yeah maybe you know i i want to keep it a little bit more fast paced i don't want to keep it very slow um but maybe if you see it later on after the stream you can pause the video all set uh you can't see the link in the description is it ah it's the first link guys it's there it's there okay already already let's go <laughs> sachin ranade says looking forward my 23 days old daughter is excited for her first stream wow so cute so cute i'm also very excited and all the best to her okay so here we go i'm going to uh, put the timer here we're going to have this stream for around 40 minutes let's do that and let's begin so this was in 1930 and uh, sultan khan opened the game with one knight f3 guys please do not consult the game do not find it on the internet focus here please don't cheat do not look at the engine it's cheating please focus here okay Arshad 84, I'm planning to buy the book Winning Chess Strategies by Yasser Sairawan. Is it worth buying? Beautiful book. Get it. It's a beautiful book. Knight f6, d4, b6 was played. c4 by Sultan Khan. Bishop b7, knight to c3, e6. So what, here he played the move a3 what's the name of this system guys and i had co- covered it in the small opening mistakes yes it was queen's indian but this is a specific variation uh it's called yeah, Knight F3 was ready, but after that, yes, Petrosian system, Petrosian Kar- Kasparov system, Pradyot Sina, you are right. G, G, A, C, you are right. Yes, it's the Petrosian Kasparov system uh, in the Queen's Indian, and A3 is the right move. And here it's very important for Black to play one move in this position. What is the move that black should play in this position? Can you let me know? Black to move here, you have to find a specific move. Also, what do you do in this position? It's a very important move. Yes, yes. Oh man, chat. Amazing, amazing. Too good, too quick, too quick fantastic amazing guys d5 kartikeya nihilesh gg ac tulli tulia uh shobit chess enthusiast akshay mohan ds downloaders pralat sen ayushman kumar beautiful the move here 
is d5 it's very important to play d5 now i have a counter question imagine imagine if you play bishop e7 which is not a good move here uh why is this a bad move what should white play it doesn't change much the move actually is the same but still let's see why is this a bad move yes exactly exactly is the same move for white plays d5 exactly akshay mohan you are right white now goes d5 and white blocks the bishop and now next move will go e4 and this strong center would be very very powerful so it is important for black to strike in the center with the move d5 very very essential and uh, sultan khan took on d5 and once again this is not for points guys right now everything is not at all for points when it will come for points i'll let you know what should black play here according to you what should black play in this position hmm amazing and guys you are going to make a move that was better than what kappa blanca played which is so nice let's see what is the move you, that you are suggesting knight d5 tremendous guys tremendous that is the right move tulya bhagyansh samarth nihilesh sulochna dinadev muruganandha venkat rangan alps kumar rishi mishra are you all very strong in the chat so amazing so amazing i'm so happy to know samarth chandelya se subah to video mein bataya tha aapne yeah that means you guys are all watching uh, the videos which is very cool and also remembering it which is very important knight takes d5 is an important move because it keeps the bishop's diagonal open at the same time you cannot uh play e4 just yet because knight c3 pawn takes c3 and bishop e4 is hanging here is a very important question and this is slightly advanced but let's see how many of you find it uh, in the game by the way kappa blanca took e takes d5 which is slightly inferior because you are kind of blocking the bishop on b7 you know it's not uh open there but i just want to ask one question after knight d5 e3 i want to see how many of you know what is the best move here for black black to play what is the best move in this position not easy not easy but we'll see if you are able to spot it it's a it's a well known move but if you haven't seen it before i wouldn't be surprised if you don't find it this is a slightly tricky move i mean there are many ways to play here but it was said that if someone plays e3 then this move solves the problem completely okay let's see c5 a lot of you want to play the move c5 this is not a bad move but somehow bishop b5 is a slightly irritating check uh but it's a playable move it's a playable move also possible to play in this position is knight takes c3 this is a good move b takes c3 and then maybe bishop e7 but the move that i was looking for is g6 here and this is the move that has been played uh, many times before and actually is very very uh, is supposed to be pretty good in this position in fact i had a game in this against vladimir belov uh, a 2600 plus gm and i managed to 
uh, win that game. So, but maybe now the new opening theory might be that it's not the best idea to play G6, but at least for a long time, this was considered to be uh, the solution in this position. But now maybe Knight C3, B C3 and Bishop E7 followed by castles and C5 could be good. Okay, I am uh, coming back to the game. CD5. Capablanca took on ED5 and now for your first point guys, what should white play in this position? What was the move that Sultan Khan played here? White to move for your first point. Let's see how many of you can find this one. It's an important position. I want to see how many of you find this move. It's actually a very, very logical move uh, in the position. Yep, 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 yep. Guys, you all are deadly, yeah? Amazing. Look at this. Bishop G5 by a huge, huge margin. And that is the correct move. Look at this. You put your bishop on g5, pinning the knight here. And that is the correct move. A full point to everyone who said bishop g5 in the chat. And uh, Dhyana Sireen, Sparsh, Akshay Mohan, Indrajit Forever, Sheikh Sohil, Akash Sutarya, Shivam Talwar, Ex Eclipse, Prahlad Sen and Nihilesh. Uh, e3, I do not like because then it closes the bishop in the position. You know, uh, here the, the bishop would be closed on c1. And uh, also bishop f4, I would give half a point. I think bishop f4 is not a bad move. Some of you had also mentioned g3. I think just that here, the bishop might be better placed on d3 than on g2. You know, so... I think bishop g5, e3, bd3 is the correct way to put your pieces in, in general. So bg5, bishop e7, e3 was played. Uh, castles happened. And now bishop d3. And now guys, get ready for your second point in the game. Not easy, this one. Knight came to e4 and white to play. What did Sultan Khan play here? Not an easy move. Let's see if you can find it. Guys, all those who are spamming unnecessary stuff in the chat, please try to follow the game. It's very important that you uh, do it and try to figure out the answers because that is what is more important in this position. Knight to e4, what do you do? Guys, and also please do not see the game in another tab. Don't try to look at the game and give the answer. It makes no sense. Try to think on your own. Try to give your best because that is what is the key here to learn and improve. So now the thing is that the most natural move in this position is to take. But then black would take back and his knight is well placed. And somehow it seems like black has a little bit freer position. Yeah. So therefore, Sultan Khan played a very nice move here. Not at all easy. He kept the bishop in this position with bishop f4 and Majority of you wanted to take on e7, but the second main move was bishop f4. And the right answer has been given by Navirat, Aditya Narayanan, Yash Jadav, Arav Surve, Santanu Biswas, Indrajit Forever, Sarvesh, Muruganananda, Abhimuhesh, Lucky Leshnath. Uh, by the way, thank you Vishwanathan Ravi Shankar for becoming booster of Indian chess, guys. Thanks to all of your support. 
we are able to help the chess community in a big way. I wrote an article recently on how much money we raised through memberships last month. It was close to 1 lakh 14,000 rupees with 632 members on our channel. So a big thank you to all of you. And remember, all those who became the members, YouTube does not uh, renew the subscription on its own. So if you would like to continue, please do consider uh, renewing it if those who became recently the members also for this month i have uh, shortlisted whom we are going to support but i'll let you know very shortly so by the way the idea of bishop f4 in this position is that your bishop instead of being on uh, g5 and exchanging and making black's task easier comes back to f4 and now it's a slightly better place than the bishop on e7 he went knight to d7 over here, uh, Capablanca. And now for your third point in this game, what did Sultan Khan play here for the third point? White to play. White to move. Very important moment in the game. What did he, What do you do? Darshan, thank you so much for becoming backer of Indian chess. Why not C5 instead of ND7? Asked Peter Cavanaugh. Oh, interesting question, Peter. Uh, C5 here is quite playable in general. And I think uh, is also a viable move. The, the reply would be the same as what Capablanca, uh, I mean, what Sultan Khan played here. But C5 is fine. And let's see what's the move that is being suggested here. We have Arohan Bharadwaj who's become the backer of Indian chess. Thank you so much, Arohan. Dimpesh Ramchandai says long castle. Dimpesh, you cannot long castle here. The queen is in the way. Yeah, the right move here and one which I think a lot of you have managed to find is Queen C2. Short castle is also a good move. I would give a point for that as well. It's not at all bad. Uh, maybe half a point yeah, for short castle, not a full point because Queen C2 is just very, very beautiful. Because see, you're putting pressure on the E4 knight and the knight... The threat is to take knight e4, d4, bishop e4, bishop e4 and queen e4 winning a pawn. So that is a threat in the position. So the right answer has been given by Venkat Rangan, Shailesh Chaurasya, Dimpesh, Ekam, Shashwat, Goblet Fire, Okira, Kartikeya, Pratik, Ayush. Thank you. And Sumalia Bhattacharya. Thank you so much for becoming a member. We have had, what, four new members today. Wow. That's quite a lot. I think more, more, more than four, at least during the stream four. So thank you all. <clears throat> okay. So queen c2 was played in this position and Capablanca here had to go, let's say knight d f6 was one possible move in the game f5 was played here. But can you tell me why is nd f6 not a good move in this position? Let's see how many of you can spot this move. It's a tough one, but if you are alert, you will find it. Ooh, Chinmay Kelaskar has become backer of Indian chess. Thank you. Chinmay, fifth member of the day and Arshad 84, also backer of Indian chess. Thank you, Arshad. This is a tough one. This is not an easy move to find and I won't be surprised if you don't find this one. But, well, there are some strong players in the chat as well. Let's see if you can find it. Any file looks like the most quoted move here. But there is a tactic in the air, guys. Be alert. Come on. Look. Look what is hanging. It's a very nice move. Yes. 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 Now all of you are spotting it. And... Well, 95 still at the top of the list, but coming up slowly from behind is the move 
बिशप टेक सी सेवन शाश्वत बोल्ट सिंह आदित्य डी हिना फिरदोष ओ इट्स मूविंग अपवर्ड्स निहिलेश रवि देश पांडे हुगो मोरालेस प्रणय चोरडिया दक्ष गोयल तेजस मवानी चिन्मय केलाथकर द मूव इज बिशप टेक सी सेवन एंड यू विल आस्क वॉट वॉट इज दिस मूव द क्वीन इज अटैक्ट यू हैव टू टेक इट and next move i play 94 and this is known as a disco because when three pieces are in a line there could be a pin or a discovered attack here it's a discovered attack the queen is hanging if you take back on e4 you lose the queen so therefore you have to play queen takes queen but now white is going to play an intermediate check on f6 bishop f6 and bishop c2 and he has won a complete pawn with a clearly nice beautiful position so bishop to c7 bishop takes c7 is the correct move and kudos to everyone who found it on their own well done so f5 was played here and now for your 1 2 3 4 fourth point in this position what do you play here it is white to move this is actually a beautiful play in the opening by sultan khan he's played this really well white to play capablanca is like i'm playing very solidly in the center sultan khan what do you want to do sultan has some ideas here what do you do here uh rishikesh panikar says why not knight b5 preparing bishop c7 in that position because you are winning a pawn directly you know why do you want to play knight b5 Can win it directly. Oh, look at, uh, look at this move suggested by Goblet Fire. Very creative, yeah, Goblet Fire. Prithvi Majjal Kodi, thank you for becoming backer of Indian Chess. Thank you so much. So here, uh, many ways to continue. So castling is possible here. looks good there is also long castle in this position which could be considered although i would be a little bit apprehensive about it because c5 and rook c8 and you know it could come under trouble a lot of you are saying knight e5 as well with the idea of f3 maybe not bad at all um but the move that is really really strong and gets a full full point from here is knight to b5 congratulations to everyone who found this move knight to b5 the move has been suggested by many uh, ishan agarwal hina firdaus pratyush bansal tulya uh, hitarth sagar i am noob shivangi shashwat and bhagya you are right so the move here knight b5 is such an interesting move right because see the pawn is hanging and it's attacked three times here it's attacked three times you can't really defend it so one idea could be to play c6 in this position but it is a blunder because of white to play guys what do you do white to move why is the same tactic sumalya bhattacharya as not possible here a uh, very good question sumalya the main reason why the same tactic does not work now is because there is no knight on f6 so when you play knight e4 i take on c2 there is no intermediate check on f6 and after bishop c2 fe4 you lose a piece so that's the problem so the question here was after f5 knight b5 c6 what do you do here by the way super chat what format time format do you suggest for a 1200 player because i could spot a move like bishop c7 when you asked us but it's impossible to find in rapid i agree with you maybe uh, at the start it would really be helpful if you can take 30 minutes on the clock and on every move try to write down at least three moves for yourself that you are considering instead of just playing the move that you feel it will help you to become very good at candidate moves any position that you get three moves okay choose one i'll play next position try doing that Yes the right move is knight c7 followed by knight e6 and that is the correct answer well done guys you go here you attack the rook the rook tries to defend itself you come here and fork 
Beautiful. Also, I was thinking if g5 is a problem here, but then g5 is met with knight e6, attacking the queen, also the pawn, also the rook, and that gives white a winning position. So, you can't do c6, therefore he went bishop d6, maybe not the best move, but well, what to do, yeah, like you have to save c7. Uh, there were some interesting ways to continue, like g5, bishop c7, queen c8. It is possible to play in this manner and maybe here this was better than what happened in the game but white is still better after bishop to g3. But what happened was he went bd6 and Capablanca uh, here, sorry, uh, Sultan Khan took on d6, knight takes d6, pawn takes d6. You can feel that the structure is now not so good. White to move guys, what do you do here? Try to think, figure it out. It's your fifth point. What do you do here? Fifth point in the position. Guys, please don't look at the game. Try to think on your own. Be genuine. Do not copy. This is how you will become a stronger player. You have to try it on your own. Yes, a lot of you are saying that please take the knight on e4 and then, you know, uh, take on d6, but then the knight on f3 is also hanging. So there's no time for that to take on e4. Here actually it's a very uh, nice move that was found by Sultan Khan and I really liked it and uh, a lot of you have been saying this in the chat. Um, the right move here is h4 as suggested by Kartikeya, Ayush, Shivangi, Aditya, Chinmay, Krish, Ishprit. Hitat, Sachit and Sagar Singh. Well done all of you. The move h4 prevents g5 in the position. That's only move for black to get counterplay here. You know g5, move the bishop away, f4. Try to get some play rolling in the center. But h4 just nips the g5 idea in the bud. And it's a very good move. Okay, rook c8 was played here. So g h4 gets a full point. Now you have to move the queen, so queen goes to b3, queen e7, and now uh, I like the next move actually uh, for white. So I'm going to ask you, what should white play in this position? White to move, and for the seventh point, you know why I'm trying to keep all the points closed right now because with some very interesting moves. Uh, Sultan Khan was able to simply outplay one of the best players, yeah, Capablanca. Chess base India, on what world someone finds h4 in a minute? Uh, e yes, it's true, it's not a simple move, but also if you think about it, uh, if you say, what is my black, what is my opponent's active idea? It is g5 with the idea of f4. So h4 is the correct move. I know that a lot of you here are not playing it fair. Uh, it's very unfortunate if you are not uh, genuinely trying here. Guys, let me tell you one thing that I want to remind all of you. That in chess, it's very important to play fairly. You know, this is a very, very important thing over here. You can be a great chess player, but if you cheat or if you are not um you know sincere to the game there's absolutely no respect that i have for them and uh, even if you get all the answers wrong i would greatly respect you if you are trying it on your own but if you're just watching the game and getting the answers then please don't do it yes sachin ranade h4 is a prophylactic move and it's a very very nice prophylaxis uh, here actually, I I like the move that was played by Sultan Khan, but also there's a stronger move than that. Knight g5 is a very, very, 
largely suggested move knight d2 is the correct move that was played in the game and it has been suggested by Prathamesh, Prathamesh Shantum, Gauri Saraswat, Dhanai, Mizail, Mayuresh, Alpha Weirdo, ST Gaming, Saurabh Badai and I am Noob. But let me just look at this move knight g5 because that looks like a very interesting suggestion here and I think it should also get a full point here. Very good suggestion guys in the chat. Well done. Knight g5 wasn't played in the game. You know what is the best move in this position? It's a crazy, crazy move actually. So I, I, I think you all have understood that you need to move the knight here and play f3. And also Sultan Khan felt it. So he went knight d2 with the idea of f3 maybe uh, to push the knight away. But here is a very classy move. Uh, Akshay Mohan asks, is king e2 possible by any chance? Yes, it looks... It looks interesting, but somehow, you know, let's say if I go something like h6 with the idea of g5 and f4, the king could get in trouble because if you try to block with h5, I can go knight f6, maybe the knight comes to g4. Somehow, from being a one-sided game, it has become now two-sided play. So, I think king e2 a little bit too soon. I know you wanted to connect the rooks. But here a very very nice move. Uh, Bishop g5 is possible guys. But then knight f6. I won't take it. I won't take knight g5. Uh, knight df6 and black seems to be doing okay with h6 coming up. The right move. I mean the very interesting move here was knight g1. And I mean what sort of a move is this guys. Knight g1. But the idea is that if you move the knight to g5 or d2. The point is when you kick it away, it will take that knight. But if you play knight g1 and you play f3, it will just, the knight will simply have to run away. And you might win the f5 pawn with the bishop here. So uh, a very, very weird move. And actually a move that is not at all easy to spot, but is very good. Mohni Sharma sends a super chat saying, Sagar, I'm stuck at 1100. I'm unable to win any games further. What should I do? I have lost 8 to 10 games I played today. Please suggest something. Mohni Sharma, first of all, don't play today anymore. Try to answer these questions. Relax a bit and try to play a little bit longer format games where you try to calculate moves on your own. And I think I would suggest greatly improve your chess with Sagar uh, 22 episode series, which will help you a lot. Or imbalance theory. Yeah, knight g1 was very, very tough, I think, uh, to find. But knight d2 was played by Sultan Khan. And then came uh, knight df6 here. And now, uh, in this position, Sultan Khan played an interesting move. He could have gone f3 and then take and take. And I think here, white is better. Uh, maybe there is knight h5, but then you go g3. You keep control on the position and the main problem is this bishop on b7, which is a horrible piece. But he went in this position, he took knight e4. fe4 was played, bishop e2. And now, here, uh, he went rook c6. So... Capablanca went rook c6. His idea is that he wants to double down the c file and put pressure here. But why to move for your seventh point in the game? What do you do here? Seventh point in the game. It's an interesting moment. And guys, please think on your own. Try to try to think what should white do in this position? What do you do? Yeah, a lot of moves here, a lot of interesting moves, but I think clearly one move is stronger than the rest, slightly stronger. And the move that was played in the game. And it has been suggested by Chess Enthusiast, Himanshu Solanki, Daksh Goyal, 
अभिजीत चौधरी समय इज बेस्ट क्लिप्स रवि देश पांडे धीरज चौधरी आशुतोष धमाले भाविक मकान एंड हीना फिरदोश वेल डन ऑल ऑफ यू द मू इज जी फोर so sometimes you know you are too much fixated on castling and so on but here the king is safe because the center is kind of closed do you see all the pawns cannot there are no breaks so g4 a flank attack makes complete sense another move that i would give at least a half a point here is king d2 it's a nice move just connecting the rooks but g4 is very powerful because i'm putting pressure now indirectly on d5 with the idea of g5 uh kappa blanca said oh my god this is trouble coming at me he doubled here on c8 and now g5 by sultan khan and knight e8 was played he cannot go knight h5 because the bishop controls here he went knight e8 there was rook c1 possible in the position but then he would have gone king d2 like it happens in the game later 98 and now sultan khan could have picked up a pawn actually king e h8 and then come back but i can tell you something that he did not want this bishop to open up in any possible way you know he just didn't want that to happen so that's the reason why he said ek pawn ke chakkar mein nahi padna hai let me just play simple chess and he goes bishop to g4 attacking the rook here okay and now capablanca said let me give a check so important move guys you cannot take here take here because then there are some problems i mean you can still come back bishop d1 but why do you want to do that so capablanca went king d2 and now uh, sorry sultan khan went king d2 and capablanca came in with rook to c2 in this position you can see that the king under big big pressure and uh, <laughs> i'm going to ask you this is not for points what should white play here so should i uh, buy the chess course or the material is available online also what is the cost kartikeya rishi i think the material is not available online it's in the book it's a very nice book right now it's at 25% discount you can get it for 1500 um just type chess course it's a very good book well it's it's like you know it's not even a queen sack it's the only move in the position but it's a nice move and all of you have given the right answer here so many of you have given queen c2 more than 100 of you well done guys that shows all of you very involved here takes takes king takes c2 and you know this position is very interesting for assessment why does the bishop pair also the structure is very nice you know that's what makes his position all the bishop is pretty poor actually there he gives a check here and now for your eighth point where do you actually move your king here important moment guys where do you move your king let's see how many of you can figure it out why to play because there are many options here but where do you move your king all those who said king b3 i'm going to give you a special award an award for being the worst move played today look at this it's like you come you are in india you are the national champion then someone takes you to london and then you become the british champion and then you're playing against capablanca and you're playing all these moves amazing chess h4 g4 g5 and then you play king b3 and capablanca looks at you and says blunder master <laughs> let me see how many of you how many of you actually said king b3 let's see in the chat oof oof so many people alps kumar goswami kartikeya rishi samay is oh samay has to be here samay is best clips sparsh <laughs> बुधादित्य अंश जैन शुभम विशाल मारुति प्रणव कामत अनुराग मिश्रा वॉट अ मूव इट्स द मोस्ट हॉरेबल मूव इन द पोजिशन 
the right move here and actually has been found by 15 people i am noob ankush ajay tudu yash jadav proton dhyana sirin aditya d gagan modi g and arpan the move is king b1 and it's a slightly anti intuitive move because generally you want to keep your rooks coordinated and you play king d2 but as you will see in the game here black gets a lot of play while if you play king b1 the reason why this is good is that after queen c4 you can go rook c1 and the king on d2 is slightly more exposed than the king on b1 so all those who said king b1 really not an easy move get a full point king d2 is maybe half a point but not the the best move in the position king b3 of course gets minus 10 so all those who said king b3 you are going to lose it uh, so he went queen c4 in the position he's coming here so uh sultan khan said now i have to stop that check how does he stop it guys white to play not a not for the uh once this i ask king b1 will lock the rook right well not really because i'm going to go rook c1 and then i'm going to put my king here and then i'll connect the rooks anyway so it's just a momentary discomfort what do you do here yes absolutely guys you all are on the ball you all are very alert here and you have figured out that the check on d3 has to be stopped so you go bishop e2 brilliant brilliant i still don't understand uh king b1 well you will understand now the point is that after queen b3 in this position now this is hanging so imagine the same position if i go king b1 and my threat is rook c1 king a2 and then doubling on the c file when i have perfect coordination so the only way in which black can generate some play is by queen c4 but after rook c1 check and king a2 uh, or even rook c2 for that matter black white is doing really well he will go bishop e2 next then king comes up then the rook comes here and it's just perfect coordination so that it's a small discomfort king d2 queen c4 bishop e2 queen b3 rook a b1 and now for your ninth point guys and this time it's a very interesting question that i have for you because you have to guess what is i'm going to take 10 more minutes on the clock for this game to finish uh because i was almost going to run out of time there uh it's black to move now because all the time you were guessing white's move but there was a very interesting move that you have to figure out here. Take your time, guys. Take your time. What does black play here? Just think, what is white's threat? And then you will find black's move. It's a very important one. Black to play. It's not easy. I hope you understood why king b1 was better there guys. Kalpak Tole, the question is black to play, what do you do here? Actually white, white has a very specific idea here. It's not an easy move to find. Let's see what are the moves that are being suggested here in this position. It's not at all easy. So a lot of you want to play knight c7. But then after knight c7, I go rook hc1. You might want to go knight b5 here. But I think it's a little bit kind of shaky position uh, I could go king e1 and maybe I can just put my king away to safety that could be an idea but the right move here for black and a very very important one is bishop c6 and you might be like what is happening why bishop c6 now look at this okay suppose in the game king f7 that was played in the game this is a bad move why because after rook at c1 which is the idea you the white's idea in this position is to play rook c3 kick the queen away 
Now, if suppose here he goes king e7 and now rook c3, you really want to keep your queen on a2. But the problem and a huge problem here is the move. What should white play here, guys? If you want to win the game, try to tell me what should white do here? White to play and win. Uh, Diana Sarin, Shreyos, Deostali, Nachi, Mutu. Well, you all want to play, but the right move is not King C2. Kartikeya Rishi, checkmate. The right move is King C1. Don't forget, guys, that your rook is hanging on B1. So you need to protect it. But yes, I get the point that you want to trap the queen with bd1, bishop b3 and so you play king to c1. And now this is already a winning position for white because next move here and here, queen is trapped. Game over. So by that logic, if you think about it here, you want to go there. So then it's not the time to move your king, it's the time to move your bishop. The point being that after rook hc1, I now play my bishop to d7. Notice that you don't play bishop a4 straight away right now because the bishop is not required there for now. I go bishop d7 first. Now rook c3, I go queen a2 and after king c1, what is the move that black will play in this position? Black to move. What is the idea of his move? Let's see how many of you find this. Why is the bishop on d7 useful now? Can you tell me? No, it's not about bishop b5. It's more, more uh, concrete here. To keep the queen on a2. Absolutely, guys. Beautiful. So many of you have given the right answer here. Huge number of people. Wow. Wow. Huge number of people. Bishop A4. In fact, this is the highest number of people have suggesting one move. Pritam, Tulya, Shubham, Ayush, Pratamesh, Indrajit, Forever, Pranjal, Joshi, Vamsi, Krishna, Garvit, Kalra, Paras, Bhoir. Thank you all for finding the move. I mean, congratulations. Bishop A4. Stops BD1, Bishop B3 idea and black is completely in the game. You know, b3 is not really a great move. Queen a3 is hanging. So, that's the reason why this bishop c6 move or even bishop c8 with the idea of bishop d7 is the correct move. You know, that's the best. Putting the bishop there is the key. King f7 was played by Capablanca and now Sultan Khan. Rook c1. Look at how he converts this. Rook c3 attacks the queen. Piche jao. Abhi queen a2 nahi aasakta. Go back. B4 was played. Queen D7 doubles down the C file. A6. Rook G1. Queen came in. He went Rook G C1. Guys, I want to show you a beautiful line. Okay. This is my favorite move. Bishop G4. Okay. I mean, not favorite, but it's very cool. Takes here. And right now plays the move Bishop G3. The queen is beautifully trapped, you know. Look at this. Also, if you take on g4, it's not possible. Why? Disco divane. Disco is basically discovered. Check. Yes, yes, yes. Adarsh Kartikeyan, Shreyas Deostali, Himalayan Houdini, Paras Bhoir, Kartikeya Rishi. Absolutely right. Bishop takes d6, check, and you win the queen. Correct? But, but, what does he do? He plays the move queen to g5. And this is something very unique that I spotted. What should white play in this position? It's a very nice move. Very nice move. Let's see if you can find it. White to play. Yes, 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 yes. Guys, you all are becoming very strong, yeah? I love it. I love it. I love how the chat is so much engrossed and also suggesting all the right moves. Brilliant. 
this is a very cool move see the thing is that it's the first time that there are four pieces in a line so <laughs> i want to give a disco but there is this bishop unnecessary in the way i want to take and i want to take the queen but the bishop is in the way so i say boom bishop c8 and that is the right move let me see if how wow so many of you have got bishop c8 in the position which is tremendous guys tremendous job paras boer omkar chakradev kartikeya rishi prallad sen ekam singh sumit gamre shubham yadav ansh satija aditya narayanan shaunak vaidya the point is that now you force him to take on c8 and now bishop d6 and you win the queen uh, it's a nice tactic i like it okay so in the game he went rook g c1 he did not go bishop g4 there was queen d7 h5 king d8 rook c2 queen h3 king d1 king king c1 king goes back actually sultan khan played it uh, interestingly one more question guys why is queen f2 a mistake here i think now you all are experts in disco dancing disco ka threat by disco siddharth gupta says yeah kind of you could say yes kartikeya rishi it's only on windows not on linux yes absolutely right guys all of you on the ball on the ball today beautiful bishop a6 queen attacked bishop attacked it's over it's over in this position so had to play queen h3 here and then rook c1 queen h4 rook c2 you can see that kapablank uh, here sultan khan didn't have much to do and he was very patient you know bishop h4 h6 queen d7 b5 bishop g3 bishop f4 now he's closed everything down queen h3 king b2 queen g2 king b1 uh once again if you take on uh f2 here there's a very nice move bishop h5 queen h4 and now how do you finish him off guys white to play white to move i'm going to take five minutes more just sorry guys sorry i should have timed it better but five minutes more yeah i'll finish it now in five minutes but white to play aren't this discos creating some sort of equality for black black will be only exchanged down sachin ranade yes but also pawn down and exchange down that's huge material deficit i'll i'll try to uh, cover that position no guys no rook h1 what what are you guys doing rook h1 kya move hai free rook free rook what's wrong with you why are you giving a free rook rook h2 is correct trapping the queen what a beautiful queen trap right look at this all squares covered sometimes finding these queen traps not easy okay the the point that uh, sachin ranade was making was that in such a position here after queen takes f2 bishop a6 queen takes c2 king takes c2 bishop a6 or i could even take with the rook here and then after takes i can go rook to c6 and the d6 pawn is hanging and the b6 is hanging and uh you are already a pawn down plus an exchange down so that's lost okay king a1 queen h3 king a1 queen g2 king b2 i just waited here rook c6 queen h4 rook g c1 bishop g4 and now for your 10th point in the game this is the final moment what would you play here as white it's well many moves lead to rome here but the move that sultan khan played was very very clean neat and nice i liked it because see guys the thing is that the b6 pawn is hanging the d6 pawn is also weak but you need to be slightly careful pankaj butada it was hanging you know bishop d6 was hanging in that position so here is a very important moment
it's not easy it's not easy actually it's a, it's a beautiful move here and uh, yeah i i understand completely that you want to take the bishop bishop g3 is also a, a fairly good move so half a point for both the moves but the right move that was suggested is bishop f1 by garvit kalra vanch desai saurav chakrabarti aditya narayanan om vishvesh uh, aditya d pallavi sundar koel stewart murugananda Shubham. Guys, actually, it's such a tough move to make because you're also giving up this pawn with a check. But the point is that the rook comes back, attacks the queen, the queen has to move back to h4, and then after rook h2, the queen is trapped. It's, it's tough, but it's the right move. Bishop f1, the point is that I'll keep the bishops on the board. Now, remember, if I take, take, and I'm slightly careless, and I take on b6, then suddenly this position is drawn. Can you believe it? Can you believe that this position is actually drawn? Because after queen e2 check here, rook c2 and queen e1, the position is a draw because there is a check here. And you see, this is the thing about the queen. Once it gets entry into the position and can give some, you know, like perpetual checks, becomes very dangerous. While here, after bishop f1, the queen cannot take here and with the bishop still on the board, now this is hanging on b6. So, queen h5 was played. Um, rook e1, maybe stopping bishop e2 was a bit too much. He could have taken on b6 already. But after rook e1, queen h1, king c3, he tried to bring his king back take on b6 and now the b5 pawn is extremely strong so even though he loses the pawns there b pawn is moving forward bishop b5 queen h3 rook b8 and in this position after b7 b8 is coming in capablanca resigned the game because he saw no way to stop the pawn from queening because it's very very strong and with that, Sultan Khan beat the former world champion, Capablanca. What a moment that would be, guys. Just imagine. He was just an ordinary man. And he went to London and he, he beat Capablanca like the genius of the genius. And how? How is it even possible? He was a servant. He was, he was a man who was... I mean, I just feel that... A lot more should be known about Sultan Khan. And of course, Daniel King has written a book about him, which is on Chess Base uh, India Shop. So you can get that. Uh, I think I have the book here. I'll put the link in the description. Ah, yeah, here it is. Travel with Nikhil Roshan says, Bata zara kaise hogi teri meri baate sanam. मेरे मन की मैं कह पाता नहीं और आंखें पढ़ लेने का हुनर तुझे आता नहीं वाव 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 इस वेरी गुड वन वेरी गुड वन एक्चुअली आई शुड रीड इट अगेन पता जरा कैसी होगी तेरे मेरे बातें सनम मेरे मन की मैं कह पाता नहीं और आंखें पढ़ लेने का हुनर तुझे आता नहीं नाइस वन ओके गाइस there is a tournament held in the memory of Sultan Khan. So, second Sultan Khan Cup by IPS Academy. The link is in the description. Please do consider taking part. A lot of grandmasters are playing. I think also Biswa may participate. This is the book. I'll put the link in the description. This is on Sultan Khan by Daniel King. It has all his games and a lot more interesting stuff in there. It's by New in Chess. So, you can actually uh, get this one. But guys, did you like the game? How was the game? Did you enjoy the game? Please do mention in the uh, comments as to how did you like the game? Uh, and what did you learn from it? They put Sultan Khan book paperback and also Sultan Khan book hardback. There are both possibilities for you to buy. You can choose. 
and get to know more about this genius i mean enjoyed it very interesting wonderful dil se support hai uh, never underestimate indians guys just make sure uh, oh if you don't have fide id you can still take part in the tournament you can just write zero in the fide id uh, in the tournament there but uh, just make sure if someone guys can put in the time stamps of all the 10 questions would be very grateful if you can do that and also um, i would say just write down in the comments as to what you learned from this game i have completed 25 episodes of chess classics you must know and i'm very happy because you know uh, in some ways i really wanted to make this series into games that you must know that you must remember and i have managed to you know we have together managed to create 25 episodes i think this will continue and uh, hopefully we can reach 50 very soon so thank you all for being on this journey with me uh, and uh, Arya says thank you loud the stream says Sachin okay wonderful 23 days old that's the youngest ever follower of my stream earlier maybe uh, <laughs> who knows but this is I think Shrest uh, Nikhil's son was maybe one of the youngest but yeah Siddharth Jain go to sleep go to sleep take care guys and see you all. tomorrow day after tomorrow gary kasparov is coming in and then i have a few more interesting guests who might join in for grandmaster chess we are you know back with learning chess in full flow i'm going to start the end game series very soon today we had small opening mistake so a lot more interesting stuff coming your way for now take care guys and sleep well bye bye oh by the way 28th the uh the Ch- champions chess tour is back with it is playing that will be again an exciting event that will cover and also i am hoping to go to chennai to cover the uh online olympiad uh and will be doing it with samai would be great fun this time from 8th of september so that would be another thing and guys i want to thank each and every one of you who has just go to chessbase.in and check out the july update for youtube memberships all of you have helped tremendously guys uh, i mean we have had seven new members today but you know there was this uh, uh, april where savita shri we supported she's now done several classes with uh, shyam sundar and she's become you know she's got into the olympiad team then in may uh we supported uh, kartik venkat krishna and rama raju uh, harika's coach has taught him for so many hours with that then we had uh, pranav whom we supported who moved from 2366 to 2489 that is insane he had two im norms he became an im and he also scored his first gm norm very very proud of that and in july we collected like 1 lakh 14000 rupees also ilam party got a laptop from krunal parmar so great work that is happening for this month uh, i have shortlisted a candidate uh, who is actually uh, i will i will write about him in the in the article on chess base india and he is having a severe health issues and i think being a chess family overall uh, it would be very nice to support them because he has a condition which is very very rare i have been doing research on it trying to figure out but i think that would be the right person to help so i'll keep you posted with more details but guys really thank you all for being on this journey with us and uh, i'll see you all tomorrow until then take care bye bye